Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. So guys, I just want to mention something. Um, I installed quite a bit of mods right now. Um, it's all quality of life stuff. So you can see above his head, he's level 1. And as he's racking, he's going to get experience. He's walking is slower right now than what he used to. Right? These guys are way slower. But as they're racking, as they're stocking, as they're like moving around in the game, uh, they'll be getting experience. And once the experience bar fills up, uh, they will then be moving a little bit faster. They'll be... Um, well, they, they will move faster, but if they carry something, uh, they will move slower again. But once they reach level 4, um, I don't know how long it would take to do that, but... Once they reach level 4, they should be roughly 10 to 15% faster than the guys we had before. So I think this mod, when I read it, I was like, dude, this is so interesting. Uh, the other mod that, that I installed is automatic pricing. So if I press Control R right now, apparently all, everything, all products in the store is updated automatically uh, to... The highest value possible, apparently. Another mod that I installed... Um, another mod that I installed is... If I put down a new item, it will automatically be market price. Um, another mod that I installed is... If it's nighttime, the light switch will be automatically clicked. So it will be automatically on at nighttime. And during daytime, obviously, it will be off. Another mod that I installed is if I'm on the counter and I hold down left click, I'll be scanning uh, all their items. Um, it's a quality of life. It's the same with um, with the other game. I forgot the name. Uh, a cards, card shop simulator. It's the same with that. Where I don't tap my left click button on that game. I hold it in and then I can uh you know scan faster and stuff uh also uh this experience that we're seeing above their heads it is also for cashiers so it's not just uh restockers that gets this it's cashiers as well um gaining experience looks like this guy is gonna reach level two soon and with this mod i think it's pretty cool like we can actually have cashiers then you know, as they're working, they get experience, they level up, they become faster. Um, so, with this mod, I most probably will remove all self cash outs and just replace it all with cash uh, cashiers. Um, it might just be better. So, uh, I was going to test and see if the mod works. But yeah, these guys will gain very fast experience. They are n almost never standing, so let's have a look. So I don't have to hover over it as well. Like, it just automatically goes. That's green. That that That's green? I could have given her $50 back. I could have paid her to shop here. Goodness. This guy is almost level 2. So he's going to move about 5 or 10% faster. So yeah, this will just over time be all quality of life stuff. And it will just be cool to have it all. So yeah, this mod will be optimal pricing for your store. That's so much faster, bro. And yeah, there's a lot of mods that I don't want to install. Um, I consider it cheating. All of this that we downloaded is just quality of life stuff, except for the experience one. 
I, I honestly I honestly think it's a pretty cool uh it's a pretty cool thing. They're gaining experience as they work. Once once they level four, I don't know how long it would take. They would work roughly 10% faster than if you were just having a restocker. So it's pretty it's pretty interesting to me. So it looks like it's also somewhat round. This guy's level 2 now. You can see he's still not faster. At level 3, it should be roughly the speed of our normal situation. And I think level 4 is the highest. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they reach level 4 in one day because of how far we are in the game. I want to see the automatic lighting also. Because then we know for a fact everything works. Barely reached level 2. They'll be, they'll be walking 40 kilo, uh, no, uh, 20 kilometers per hour without a box in their hand. Uh, 20 kilometers per hour at level 4. So that's actually pretty fast though. How you doing sir? You like what I do? Huh? I'm the best cashier you'll ever find in the world, dude. That guy is almost level 3, man. He's so much faster than the others. What did he do? Hey girl. Goodness, are you buying the shop? So yeah, now cashiers, in my opinion, sounds more appealing as well. Because they'll be working faster uh, as they level up. Yeah, you have a 50-50 chance to date me? Come here. Level 3, dude. We have a level 3 already. I believe level 4 is the highest, and they're almost level 4. That's a bit stupid. In one day we reached that. Would have been cool if it took like the whole episode to reach level 2. I would have been fine with that. This feels a little bit too much, too fast. Yeah, by tomorrow all of them should be level 4. Uh, there's another mod that was tempting that I wanted to try out. Um, two more mods, actually. Uh, that the market never closed, so at 9pm I can restock. And if I, if I end the day, all items will be racked. 
So the mod is called uh, Your Restockers Work Through the Night. But I decided against them because I'd rather go for the leveling up system than they are a bit faster anyway. But I didn't know it's going to be this, like, they're going to be level 4 in one episode in. So by tapping, it still scan faster. Holy, I think this is one of the highest bo- uh, Whoa. It's one of the highest bolts we had. $200, dude. $250. There's other cool mods also. What's this guy doing? Oh, he was stuck on it. That never happened before, so I that has to be with the mod. I just think it's a pretty cool feature. You know, some quality of life stuff doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, the lights got switched on automatically. I never did that, right? I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, I just want to see if I did install that mod. I don't think I did. Yeah, we didn't. Don't want to anyway, it's okay. So we, we can't buy... Oh man, green soda. Okay, so let's end the day here. Products found expensive too. So then this mod doesn't work efficiently then. So I wonder then how it works. Because, I mean, we're making bank, dude, you know. I'm not gonna... Oh my goodness, it is so expensive. But I guess it's close to rounding rounding numbers, right? Yeah, it's, it's all round numbers. But I mean, this thing could be closer to... 650, I would say, or 550. And 40 cents higher. It's it's whatever, man. Like, honestly. Uh, did I get the mod that we can get in more than 10? Let's just have a look here. I did buy the sugar, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we need some bleach. Guy okay, then. It's another one I was considering, but then people complain about uh, products is, like, not spawning in. So I think what happens is you spawn in like a hundred products and it, it reaches a certain height and it just gets removed from the game. Because for some reason, whoever drops off your stuff is always stacked upwards. So it, it just gets deleted at a certain height. That's what I think that happens. I mean, I'm just, you know, taking a rough guess here. So, butter. Uh, we need french fries. So, red and blue. You know, the better mod, in my opinion, would be to, instead of clicking checkout like this, 
Like once you click on add to cart, it's not add to cart, it's just buy once you click on it. That to me also would be a little bit better. That's actually something I might use if there is something like that. I think I might have installed another mod. I'll have to check if I did. That the game runs in the background. Meaning I can minimize it, pause the video, and the game is running. I don't have to sit here um, with it open while I wait for them to restock and stuff. There's another mod that you can also take. Okay, dude. He's stuck on one of the boxes. I don't know which one. Yeah, I shouldn't do this then. So it's like if they pick up a box and they're standing inside one, they get glitched. That's a little awkward, dude. You can see they're they're still slower than they should be. But I think at level at level four they'll be faster, I think. Like I don't know if four is max level though. We'll see now. He's level four. Four is definitely not max level. What the heck? So you can go higher than four. Some of these guys are working. Others is just glitching. So level 4 is not max level. I don't know what is then. Let's test if I do have that. Uh, which one do we test on? We'll do it on chicken. I don't have it, okay. There's another mod that I wanted to install. That I can't put a box into the wrong, uh, the wrong one. And that would just, uh, make me help them, essentially. You see, I think what's happening here is I buy double stuff. He's trying to pick up both boxes at the same time. Of, uh, the set item. But he has a box in his hand already, so... What a dumb glitch, actually. So it, it would force me then to buy one item only. Wait, oh, that has to be the longer route, dude. Not that one. I don't know, some of them are working really nice. It's just... I don't know, dude. 
If the mod doesn't work, I'll just remove it. I just thought it's a very cool idea. That the more these guys work, the, the faster, more productive they become. But if they become glitched, it's counter counter efficient then. Like it's 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 not cool then, you know. We will keep it rolling, just see how it goes. This guy is halfway to level 5. Let's test something, dude. Let me be the only checkout guy and see how much XP we could get. This is going to be a lot of work. I think someone complained that something is expensive. Dude, this is so many people. We can check out 1,000 people so far. Oh my goodness, look how big the queue is. All of a sudden. I'm just trying to read what the guy is saying. Maybe I should add one self cash out.
I mean, it's moving really fast, though. It's not like uh, we're lingering. And the prices is made easy for me. We have a level 5. Thank you, come again. The checkouts are full. I wonder if it actually makes people leave. Everyone is saying the checkouts are full. Like, I don't know. Maybe this was just a bad idea. Watch me find again some racker that is just stuck on something again. That was ridiculous. Let's see. Hey, all records is moving around, dude. Well, I only see three. Still have to find unfortunate number four. 
We have a level 6. You can see they're still walking slower than what they used to. You see, he's walking just as fast now without a box in his hand. But yeah, this is cool. So maybe, uh, maybe soon he will have enough experience to be working faster than he did before. I think it's a cool thing. Automatic light switch on, all these cool things, dude. Products found expensive. So, being full doesn't really make them unhappy, it seems. Should we do it here? Also, why are most of them walking out of this storage door to go in? These guys are for sure reprogrammed with this mod. And I feel like with this mod, it's also to better to get an actual cashier. Make this guy work like a maniac soon. Huh? Or should we just continue on for now? I think we should just continue on for now. Um... We had 20k dollars also. Oh, I need to stock take as well. I almost forgot about that. Um, so let's test out. So the game minimize is still not working. It has to be the main screen. I only have a few boxes outside. Soda. Uh, chips. I actually don't know what that is. Okay, whatever. Can't wait for them to actually work like a crazy person, dude. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I mean, it makes sense, dude. Like... The more you do something, the faster you get. Right? Not 100% true on everything. All of us walk, walk every day. And I still walk slow as hell, son. But like on average, on the working aspect of things, right? And sanitizer, mozzarella cheese, and the red one, and eggs below that. Cereal. We need chicken. Level 7, dude. Oof. Can see the difference, like he's walking so much faster than level 5. Are they both gonna rack it now? He's whatever, Mabri. We have a program this, like, it's definitely not flawless, let's be honest. Can we stop it at... Oh yeah, looking for chicken. Yeah, we definitely need chicken.
Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, I think I bought cereal. Uh, there's also a mod that shows all your stock here. By the way, I didn't take it. I, I most probably should also get that one, but we definitely need potatoes. We have double glitched. Triple glitched. Quadruple glitched. Stop raping each other, bro. So the only way we can get this then to work is make it automatically shelf. Or automatically uh, rack. Because there's a mod for that as well. Like, I don't know what this is. And this guy is like, oh, there's chicken there. There's chicken there. There's chicken here. Oh no, there's chicken everywhere. What do I do? <laughs> Please don't make me uninstall the mod, bro. I think it's such a cool concept. from a brainless developer, but such a cool concept. So he picks up an item, then he registers, I don't have anything in my hand. And then he tries to pick it up again. That's why this is happening. And I can fix it, like, you know, myself by just buying one item. If you buy duplicates, this is what happens. And the thing is, if three is glitched and one is not, eventually that one will fix the others. Eventually. But I think the easiest way to fix this issue is to just install a mod that automatically racks the item once you buy it. So if I click purchase, it will be not be outside in a box. It will be instantly on your rack, instantly. And I guess this will also fix the glitch of them say, standing here saying, oh, dude, I don't have anywhere to put this, right? So, maybe that is the way to go then. Because I want to use this mod. I think it's pretty cool. You gain experience as you walk around, as you, as you progress, you know. The more you do, the more you, like, level you get. I don't know what max level is, but eventually these guys will be really fast. Like I'm saying, 20 kilometers per hour walking. Like, that's lightning fast, right? Boxes like this will not be outside anymore. So maybe I'll just, yeah, maybe we'll just install that mod. Instead of items being outside, it all will be already racked. And I think it will automatically solve glitches like this instantly. And I also need to fix the mod where if I minimize the game like this, that it's actually working. It's still it's still not working. So let me try and solve this quickly. Okay, and we're back. Wait, what? Why did it make noise, dude? Okay, so has installed quite a bit of mods uh, as you can see now what is red so i don't have to like look around well i mean we'll talk more about mods very soon i don't know why i hear the thingy beeping oh it's auto purchasing items 
Woods. Um, okay. So, market. No, no, not market. Management. Hiring. We're going to hire our first cashier. Okay. Now, I got another mod where this cashier... Well, he will also level up like the people racking. But this cashier, every time he scans something, or, or every time he is finishing, I actually get the points, the experience. Okay, this is just awkward now, dude. All of them are stuck. All of them. Maybe that's a... Uh... You know, I installed another mod also that will... Well, clearly stuff is not working right now. Uh, let's test out this. Okay, it's still not working. Hmm. And the items I bought is laying outside. I swear I bought or, or installed an auto racker. But that's clearly not the case. Uh, let me buy eggs. That's the eggs, yeah? Yeah, it's spawned outside. So I think I know which one they're clashing with. Let me try and fix it again. Okay, there we go. Got it fixed. Uh, another mod. I can minimize the game now and it will run. So for them to rack, it's going to be good. Um, I honestly don't know what we're purchasing. <laughs> uh, okay. He's trying to pick up something that's not there. It's not this. What about the others? Okay, we have two, three that stock again. So clearly what we tried is not fixing it. It has to be some of the racking mods that I try to install. Like, they're reading that there's something there, but it didn't auto-rack. Is it this one? No. It's white cake. There it is. Okay. Nope! Okay, I, I, I found the glitch. Um, it's uh, the price indicator mod. It's the one that makes them red. Makes them display red. Uh, my dudes just get glitched with that one. Also, the auto racking didn't work, so... Um, let's just help with this. I think this... I, I, yeah, I said that other mod also not working. So, that sucks a little bit. So, I would like to help these guys. 
They might take a minute. But it looks like uh, the this, this stock taking will now happen by itself. As they pick up boxes, uh, and it picks up that there's spaces open, uh, this thing will get filled. I don't know if it's going to go to 10 max. Let's see if there's going to be added one more. It goes to 11. So if that's the case, it will just auto uh, auto tell me what to buy. I will, I'll just click on purchase. This is normal rice, I think. I don't know, we have way too much of those chips. Peanut butter goes there. This is regular six eggs. All right, then there we go. So buy cheese. We have so much to do here. But I honestly don't know what we purchased, so it might it might be uh pretty cool. Okay, let's just buy the stuff that's empty. Because maybe then it will auto buy from them forward. That would be so cool if it does. Let's go from the bottom up because uh, the first shelf is full. Um, Red. We have nothing of the new toilet paper. I think there is six shelves of it. So then... Rice, rice, yeah, red, uh, uh, red mashed potatoes. Um, hmm. vodka. Vodka. We can buy quite a bit of that beer. Okay. Ketchup, hot sauce, and the two right above them. Uh, 
Is it steak? No. It's just right of steak. Okay. Yeah, let's just see outside. You see, they're not restocking it, which is not good. They are using the item and then throwing it away. <laughs> because it's not enough outside. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just left of red, so cheese. Potato. Chicken. Oh, he's gonna complain now, isn't he? Okay, um, two more potatoes. One bleach. Three more chickens. Okay, then I honestly think this is done. And I, I really hope that this thing works. That would be so cool. Imagine not stock taking at all. It's a long, tedious process, dude. Is it three? One, two, three. Yeah, it's three. Now it's unfortunate that he's having this thing in his hand because I don't know if it's going to be glitched. So the best thing for me to do then is to throw it away. Where is that? Is it this? Yeah, it's this. Okay. Let's start the day. Both my level one cash here. Uh, if the queue becomes too big, I'll place another one of these bad boys. I also downloaded a snap mod. So if I if I'm next to something, it will snap. It will snap to it. But yeah, for now I'm not gonna do that. I wanna see if he does his thing, do I get the experience? Or does it count towards me? So let's see over here. Management, hiring. Um, so we're standing on 263. 263. This place is honestly amazed, dude. Uh, 
Now, there's a mo another mod that I want to get, and I think I will. Um, when your when your worker tries to put away a box, uh, but he has one item in the box he has, and there's nine in the one that he wants to put it in, it will just automatically merge. Instead of you walking back here, like, hey, there's no storage space. Wow, he's so slow. Oh my goodness. One sixty-three, right? Uh, two sixty-four. Sorry, it was two sixty-three. Now it's two sixty-four. Okay. He's really slow, dude. Oh my goodness. Got our evil level up. So let's just have enough cash outs. So build one there also. So you should be slower than normal. But at least it's gonna go faster, faster, faster and, you know, it's gonna be a lot better. Dude, he's so slow. Oh my goodness. The cashiers on the card shop simulator is also slow, but I think this guy takes it. He's gonna level up pretty fast though. 50 products for, for this level. Level two. That's a bit faster. Nice. Nice. You can just hear automatically stuff stock taking. The cues are intertwined. And soon this guy is going to be a legend and like how fast he's going to move, dude. I should check for other cool mods also in the other game. This is a really cool mod where you could, your workers can level up and become more efficient. Level 2 is like, dude, it's, you can see it, it's like 20% faster at the very least. Level 2 is roughly how much... No, no, they still do it a little faster. Look at the auto light switching on at 6 o'clock. Yeah, it looks like South Counter is still faster than this guy. Ooh, level 3. Let's go. Self checkout is still faster. Level 3 doesn't look much faster than level 2, though.
Our workers are still running around. Uh, we could just buy whatever it says we should. We. I'm more interested in this. Yeah, self checkout is still a lot faster than this guy. But I eventually want to get to a point where it's just workers we have. Max level, whatever that might be. It's just a matter of time before he's faster than check self checkout. Two days, bro. I'm telling you. Self checkout is still faster. Then level four. How do they break self checkout this much, dude? It's so good. It's way too good. Literally got four levels in one day, in one working day. So that's pretty impressive. Looks like everyone's out of the shop. Looks like it. Okay, so we can end the day here. Products found expensive. Well, I'm sorry. This it's the mods now. Setting the prices. Setting the stock. I'm honestly wondering, dude, like, is it really working this good? Do we have any milk? He's carrying three boxes at the same time? What? Okay, it's not three, it's two boxes. Bro, we don't have six pack milk yet. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem, the potato chips. I saw that coming. Yeah, let's buy double six pack milk then. No, we have... Okay, so this thing is... The auto-buy thing is not working then. Um, let me take those chips from him.
So that is what the kilograms mean. You can get a specific kilograms. Uh, oh, we have bo uh, we have milk. Okay. So it keeps it at one box. That's what it seems. Look at that, carrying two boxes at the same time. Dude, that's so cool. So one of the cashiers is also going to do like triple uh, at the same time, triple checkout. Like... Because I, I didn't really read the cashier stuff, to be honest. Okay, we have... Uh, okay. We'll just go and see how the auto stuff works, okay? Because the, the game feels quite a lot different now. Um, I'll ju I just have to, like, buy every now and then. Because I was going to use another, uh, another mod. We're up here, like, next to where it says I, need, I have three items to purchase. Just left of it, there's another item or another box. That will say, uh, restock all shelves. So you click on that box and all the items that is missing. So for example, there could be two here. You will buy two of the item. Um, if there's one year that's missing, you'll buy one of that. So you'll buy all items that you need instantly with one click. Uh, depending on your racks, right? So that was the first one I looked at, and I, I, I think I didn't get it to work. Bro, it's so cool that this guy can carry two items at the same time. I wonder if it eventually becomes three items. I don't think we have honey, dude. We actually did have honey. Okay, that's... Okay, well, it's gonna be... You see, the best thing to do is to not start a day. Just make sure we have stock everywhere first. Self-checkout is still faster. Come on, dude. Hopefully level 5 will be equal to it. Because I'm paying you a hundred dollars a day, like what are you doing? Okay, 10 more items to go, dude. Self-checkout is still faster than level 5. And it's roughly the same. Nope, it's still faster. Look at the guy at the back.
I think we need to buy the blue pasta just in case. I'm I'm a little scared. Buy two of them. The sky is a bit glitched. Yeah, I don't know how to fix them. This guy is also... Auto lights, pretty nice. So level 5. Come on, dude. You can do it. Come on. I want to see level 6. Self checkout is still fast in level six. Oh my goodness, dude. The guy is still glitched. I wonder what he's trying. I think he's trying to pick up two items at the same time. So hopefully level 7 would be as fast. Exactly as fast. Because it's really close. But even the pay is faster on the self-checkout. What are the highest level worker is then? I thought it was level 4 when I did research of this mod. But now I think it's level 10. Maybe there is no cap. I don't know. That would be insane. Imagine. So just reach level 7. Let's see now. Self checkout is still faster than seven. 
I heard the beep on the other side. Dude, it's so cool that he's carrying two items. <gasps> oh, he threw away. Okay. Another glitch guy. Okay, I think we'll just relog after we end the day. Make sure that there's no clients. Okay, we'll end the day here. We will buy whatever it says we should. And save and quit the menu and just relog quickly. Okay, it wasn't glitched though. Okay, it's glitched. Red pizza. I honestly don't know where it is. Oh, it's honey, not peanut butter. Okay, the other mod is also pretty like pretty much working well I honestly don't know where the red pizza is Okay, let's open I understand we're sitting on 20k money and we need to get the new items in. I just want to check out this guy. Like, he's still not beating self-checkout. He must be at level 10, dude. Like, beating it, right? Well, did, was it him? Something got restocked here. I don't know if it was him. FBI opened up. Is he also carrying two? Yeah, he is. Bro, it's so cool. Now, if you get a mod called auto purchase or something like that, uh, <laughs> what 
whatever you add to checkout, it will just auto buy. We could just stand by this guy forever. Then the game plays itself. We just collect money and uh, upgrade the store. Like this is a test, bro. Like if you if you're not f like really fast at level ten, then I'm not gonna have cashiers. But if you're faster than self checkout and what, dude, he restocked that from here. That definitely do need stock though. Dishwasher is too expensive for me. Toilet paper is too expensive for me. Bro, you should tell the mod that. Like, I don't know how to edit it. I just wanted market value, not round numbers. Because I think it's rounding it up always. And if the, if the thing is like a dollar, uh, you know, dollar twenty... It make it makes it two dollars and then it becomes way too expensive. at level 8. Uh, let's have a look here. Manage. Oh, is it that? Training. Train a level up. Show the gauge overhead. Oh my goodness. Look how expensive it is now to train them. Dude, it's so cool, man. Why is this not built into the game? Unlock higher grade. Would you promote restocker to middle grade? More efficient, but its daily wage will increase a hundred dollars, dude. No. Monetary roadmap. So he would, he would, you would pay now $200 a day to have him. I'm, I'm going to keep this the restockers as is. But I'm going to get this cashier up, dude. Scans per, per minute, 50 to 58. But once we get him to advanced, it will be 3.97 seconds payment time. Yeah, I'm gonna increase this cashier. I want I want a god as a cashier, dude. If that's even a thing. The thing is the cashier will never get glitched as well. In all honesty. I mean look at this guy. Imagine paying him two hundred dollars a day and this is what he does. Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna do that. I don't think the cashier can get glitched because it's it's a way more simpler task. Imagine I buy that and then the mod just doesn't work. 
how much money we'd lose in the long run for doing this. Let's go by before... Before it's 9 p.m. Dude, self cashier or self checkout is still faster. Imagine you get this guy to pro level. And he just zooms, bro. This is the only guy you need in the in the game. One cast here. Super supermarket, dude. Like honestly. Insanely large market. Is one shot everything, boom, one shot scan, done. Everything is done, one shot. I can see that happen, but it's it will be like... You'll, you'll pay him like $2,000 wager per day, which just makes it inefficient as well. Rather get like seven self-checkout, and it works just as good. I think it's finally as fast as uh, self-checkout, I think. It somewhat looks like it now. That level will be super expensive. Is this guy still glitched? Yeah. I can't imagine paying someone like... an absurd amount. And then this is what he does per day. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry, dude. Okay, so we can end the day. Products are too expensive. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, man. It's it's not me. It's it's uh, it's the mod doing it. Okay. We need to relog for this guy. Poor guy is like looking into a box forever. He's like, I can see my family from here. Give me a minute, please. Let me kiss them. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, so save and we just put the menu, relog, get these guys back to functional. And we could just start the next day. Let's see how much it costs, dude. For training on the cashier. 570. Let's do it. Unlock higher. Higher grade. We pay him now double the amount. Dude, that's stupid. I, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh my goodness, I'm stupid. One more. Holy crap, dude. What am I doing? We got a level 20 cash here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see now. Dude, if if South if South is still faster, I just get rid of you forever, man. I just spend like five thousand dollars on this guy.
So level 9 is max if you don't pay for uh, a wage increase. That's pretty much as fast as I can go. That is pretty impressive. He is... Dude, we should remove one self-checkout. I want to remove this one though. He... He can almost solo it like I did. Yeah, he's roughly twice as fast as a self-checkout. Dude, we're just buying items like it's crazy, like it's... I guess no tomorrow. You see, now, at, at even this level, it feels like we're going to save space in the store by having these guys instead. That's how it feels like now. Get two of these guys to level, I don't know, 20 or 30 or something. And uh, that that's all you need for your whole shop. The whole shop, literally. This is so fast, dude. So if this is level 20, and this is still called Rookie, Imagine Pro. In all honesty, you most probably don't need two cashiers. If he's pro level, you can solo the store. Just imagine double the speed. Because that's what I think it will be. Um, we're gonna see. Every time he scans, it should become cheaper. Yeah, look at that. Two dollars cheaper every time he scans. So, it's not rookie, sorry, it's middle now. I think we will definitely upgrade him. I, I want to see his highest level, like what he can do. No one's glitched at the moment, so that's good. Everyone's level nine. I mean, I would pay one guy $500 a day if he can solo the store. Maybe more. It's just if we pay him too much, then we're not going to make any profit. But right now, I think we pay him $200 a day. 
at this speed, it's definitely worth it. Couldn't find six pack milk. I mean, I don't know what I'm even buying, bro. Like, to be honest, six pack milk. find hot sauce okay this thing is not working dude honestly i mean i'll try the other one again or see if i can find it but i think we need to upgrade the upgrade this guy once more because two checkouts like i want to get him through uh, the more experience we can the better so that we could just like, you know, level him up cheaper or cheaper. But yeah, this auto buy thing is not working. Hot sauce is missing. It might be me that's not buying, right? Hot sauce is now added there. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit late when it comes to buying. Let's just say that. Maybe we improve one racker guy and just also check how that's going. Uh, restockers. Unlock higher wage. Rookie nine. We pay him a hundred dollars a day more. Okay. Well, we'll test that out. So there he is, the level 10. Look how fast he's walking. He's walking as fast as they did before. I also think they'll be le less glitched. If they are leveled up. Maybe we only need like one. <laughs> one of each worker, dude like highly leveled if you pay one guy four hundred dollars will he do more work get more work done than four one hundred dollars per day guys i don't know I mean, he's going to walk 20 kilometers per hour. This is definitely not 20 kilometers per hour. It's This is normally like as fast as they do walk. But yeah, so... Okay, look at that. Both of them are glitched. So I don't know, dude. I, I I honestly don't know. We'll see if the level 10 guy ever gets glitched. If he does, then I don't know what to say. Like, maybe at some point he's going to carry three boxes, dude. Uh, this rebuying thing doesn't really work. I think it might work if it auto-buys. Whatever's in the cart gets auto-purchased. Then it might work. But at this moment, we were out of six-pack milk. There is again on the shelf.
Maybe if we don't have any cart. If we can remove cart, it will just buy. Then it I think then this mod will work. Because whatever we buy uh, and it's low on the shelf will take highest priority for these guys to do their job. Okay, so let's end the day here. Products not found is four. Dude, come on. Um, let me see if I can do that. Uh, so we will save and... Yeah, let me just do that quickly. Okay, so... Uh, the thing that I had was when the last item gets taken off the shelf, um, it actually auto-buys it or add it to the cart, okay? So that is the, the thing we had. So I did read a little bit of the description. And they said that that mod is broken with this one that I'm using, uh, which is the level up mod. And he doesn't know how to fix it, so he's not going to try it. Like, he, he tried it for a few hours, he can't fix it. Uh, because he wanted both mods to, to run. Uh, the only time that mod can be efficiently used is if you don't have mods that will increase or improve the speed, the movement speed of your workers. And since we're farming experience... Okay, they're still stuck every now and then. Since we improve our workers to work more efficient and become better and stronger... Um, that mod will be broken. So you can see this level 10 guy is actually walking pretty fast. But he's walking the movement speed that they would have walked before. Uh, without this mod. But just keep in mind, I'm paying him double the wager now per day. He's carrying three boxes at the same time, dude. <laughs> so yeah. Um, now that that is done, I did get a different mod. So you can see right next to our cart, there's a click button now. So if I click on this... Um, I don't know why it doesn't work. Nothing worked. Hmm. It did nothing. Your rack is full. If we, if we can't find... Oh my goodness. Where is my labels? <gasps> That's why it's not buying. Oh my goodness. I need, I need to solve this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness, dude. It took me so long to re-rack everything again. Just to get the labels. Oh, dude. Okay, we got all the labels back. I went through the whole shop. I had to buy one item and run before they take it. Um, so that's kind of annoying, dude. Honestly. Our dude is already level 12. So, I did test this out now. If I click on this icon now, you'll see it will buy all the items on the rack. Uh, everything on the rack. Um, so all the labels that, that has a slot to be purchased, we will do that. Uh, I'm just curious, though, if I see this. Will we buy flower? Uh, craft, craftung flower. Because that's a $16,000 purchase, dude. So we can lay off on peanut butter. And then we could buy. So I'm going to just be, you know, buying this. We have $170 left. That is $20,000 worth of stock right here. And this guy 
is complaining. Oh my. That is mashed potatoes, dude. Where did all the labels go again, dude? I should have saved. <sighs> Why does this thing make my labels go away? It took me so long, dude. I should have saved. Oh my goodness. It's saving. Please don't tell me it's saved. It fucking saved. Why is it removing my labels when I buy? No, I'm not going to cry, dude. You guys, just give me seven hours. Let me restock everything. It's going to take so long, dude. Because I, I don't even know where half these freaking things are. Okay, guys. Uh, I Dude, I spent like a half an hour and I'm not even not even 10%. Um, there is so many duplicates here that I, I honestly, I don't know what to do. So I think the best thing for me to do is to buy the items that I can't find and place them in. And obviously delete this freaking add-on. I will do, I will have to just manually stock deck. Um, no other add-on will do it for us. I don't think it's going to work. So. Um, so I think the level 10 worker, because this happened just now, this level 12 guy, he walked in here, he placed an item, and he had another item in his hand. He just dropped it to the floor. So I think he will not go to... I don't know how to say this. He will not um, just stand here with his hands full, if that makes sense. Uh, so this purchase we just made, this is definitely filled the whole shop. That's for sure. Um, and it's just chaos, bro. It, it, like, oof. I don't know which half of these items are or where they even are in the shop. So what I think that needs to happen, um, what needs to happen is that people need to come in and buy. These guys will hopefully use the this or maybe the stock inside uh, to restock, and then I will then uh, buy the new items, the ones that I can't find. Uh, I will buy one of them so I can actually just have them marked on where they need to go. Because like this is this is a nightmare, bro. Um so we'll remove that add-on and I should report it as well, but um we'll just remove that oh, no, no. You know, worst case scenario, it is not that bad, right? Um, do I have the other toilet paper marked already? I don't. We need to find green toilet paper. 
This is going to be hours upon hours upon hours to fix that purchase. And I honestly can't believe the game saved when I when I just quit. I didn't click on save, I just quit. So many duplicates, dude. Honestly, so many. Uh, we have Mulk, right? Let me just double check. Yeah. I think we're gonna, gonna make a duplicate pile over there. And there's so many boxes inside that's also duplicates. Um, I don't know what this is. And this is what takes so long. So I'm saying, like, the best thing I can do is remove everything here, throw it over there. Um, throw a, a box of duplicates over there. Like, you have no idea how much bread I found already. <gasps> Did we find No, it's there. It is there. Uh, no, we want the green toilet paper. Is this cake? It's white cake, right? Yeah. Also duplicates. Bro, this is gonna be so much gameplay to fix. Uh, oh, this is hummus. It's duplicates. Um, just get this out of my feet. Apple juice. We already have. Coffee. We have. Oh, this was such... Checkouts are full. I think something was overpriced for him. It's still the old toilet paper. Wait, rice? Yeah, we do have rice. I'm still looking for pasta, dude. So much bread. I already have it. As I'm saying, like today we can we can somewhat fix, but I think the fastest thing to do is to just remove the boxes from here. So I can actually buy an item. Because it will just be faster to do it that way, honestly. Ice cream. That's sushi. More chips. Red pasta. Hummus. Spray. Tuna. We have spray, right? Yeah. We're looking for bleach still, I think. Yeah, we're looking for bleach still. 
Not this bleach. This is a new bleach. Dude, it's lagging. The game is lagging for me right now. I can't even see the label because it's so bright. So this is the new... Here we have it already. There is bleach. So this is the old bleach. Stuck on so many boxes, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, we don't need this spray, we need the, the new spray. Sushi. We need the new toilet paper, not the old one. Milk, I remember we did check milk. What is this? Do we have it? Uh... Hello? Goodness. It is this one, right? Moussaka. So it's right next to green tea. Oh man, we have it. This is the new bottled water. Dude, just... Just buy the items that we don't have labeled right now. And from now on forward, I'm gonna just do stock taking myself. Because nothing else works. Nothing else works. There's no other mod even close that I could try. Do we have sugar even? I mean, dude. I just picked up like four of those boxes. Wait. That is not where potatoes should be. I think. Don't remove it, just double check. Oh, it is. It is, okay. Okay, so this day is done. Uh, this is the this is a new sugar. Dude, get out of my way, goodness. This is gonna be insane, dude. <laughs> okay, so 12 eggs, pasta, so it's over here next to the blue one. We don't have the blue one yet, even. Okay, let's end this day. Products found expensive. I mean, whatever, dude. Again, it's a mod. It's not me, I promise. Okay, so... Whatever that is. Coffee. Potato chips. Blue one. Milk. Okay. I'm I'm hoping it will land here where it should land. Okay, so we need we need spaghetti. That's the first one we need we need to start with. Okay. Oof, dude, it's just boxes everywhere. I can't move. 
Okay. Um, so rice. So underneath, underneath it, it's the black soda. Okay, and then the green soda. Oh my goodness, I can't even get in. Please, dude. Don't be in the entrance. Okay. Okay, so that's two done. Uh, then right below it. Six pack milk. Okay, so this whole shelf is done. It looks like. No, 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 no. What's that? Left of chocolate. It's that cereal. Okay, we got bleach. What is under spray? We gotta buy that. Shampoo. Okay, so we're next to tuna. Four eggs milk. Oh, sorry, <laughs> four eggs. Okay, next to it. Sugar. What? That's not correct. It should be there. Okay, next to butter. Okay. Label, label, label. Red. Okay, so get the blue pasta. Okay, and then left of that, 12 eggs. Okay, then under the sugar, salmon, under the sugar, salmon, okay, back to the top here, above the mayonnaise, I believe it's Hot sauce, yeah. Uh, below ketchup, beer, imagine there's something can ruin someone's game and then you make it a mod and be like, oh, this thing, this thing works well. It restocks your shelves. Um, it, it happens if you buy the fucking old shop, you idiot. Holy shit. I feel like this was deliberate. Okay, underneath, small bread. Uh, dark cleaner. Underneath that, uh, dishwash soap. Okay, 
And then at the very bottom is the new toilet paper. So I honestly wonder if these guys are even remotely even close to restocking or something. Our shelves is freaking empty, dude. My best option is to trash can most of those items. Isn't that sad? Do you know what? And we're open. Let's do one more day, dude. Yes, chicken. So he's walking up and down the whole time for chicken. Watch out for the car, bro. Who knows? Hmm. This is, this is how to ruin someone's game. 100%. Give this mod to them. No, no, click one button, dude. That button right there. It's called uh, self-destruct. No, no, but I'll, I'll hide the name. Don't worry. No, no, it's not called self-destruct anymore. It's now called restock your, your everything. It's going to restock everything for you, bro. I promise. You know what I should do right now? Uh, this is just going to help for now. Because we know until where, okay? So if we go into management and we go to hiring, use unlabeled, um, just tell them they can, allow them to. Um, I think this is the only way I'm going to get through this. As long as it's unlabeled, they can use it. So, unlabeled racks. They'll store all, all the duplicates there. So, with your one button restock, you don't even have enough six pack milk, dude. Is that what I'm seeing here? If we had a good system, we should we will just from now on forward just keep it. They keep walking with chicken. What do you have? Potatoes. The other one also has potatoes. No, fuck off, car. What are you doing? So what, I throw away potatoes and, and chicken? Is that is that what you're telling me? Thank you. They're gonna somewhat mark it for you. Okay, there we go.
Maybe if I just pick it up. Yeah, there he goes. Dude. Not the time to glitch, bro. Dude, we're playing the game literally on 40 FPS right now as well. It kind of feels like it's game over, bro. I could have spent 20k on the, the teller instead. Dude, I think it's just time. Give uh, give it a old res reset Arunski. You know what I'm saying? Say goodbye to twenty thousand dollars. This all happens, why? Because the game saved. And there's no other saves, bro. It's a one trick pony. If I click on new game, well, you can't go back to your other game.
Okay, the game is running on 60 FPS again, at least. We'll make the money back, dude. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's annoying, right? Because this ruined my whole episode. This took me so long to even remotely fix when we're not even close yet to fix it. Someone's complaining about items not being on the shelf. My goodness, bro. Never again. I'll do my own stock taking. It takes five minutes a day, but fuck, nothing, nothing bad as this ever happened. The worst I had to complain about is the bots not... Like, they're standing there with their box open, not helping. Two of them are stuck here, I think. It was just one. Did you guys say goodbye to $20,000? Could have spent all of that on on the cashier and see wonders but no people that make mods don't know how to make mods they uh take higher priority you know what i'm saying maybe they're not glitched anymore who knows nope he's still walking We're garbage man, dude. So we have one worker that's not glitched anymore.
And it's our highest level, right? Yeah. Dude. I honestly think we should still just throw away everything. Level 13. I think we got about a hundred breads. It's gonna fill your rack and then yeah, we don't even get the new toilet paper. Right, we have no more boxes laying around it. We can finally do some stock taking. Products found expensive, products not found a six. Fucking great. At least the other mod didn't work. This one purely just killed the game. Goodness. Okay. Okay, honestly, dude. Stop it. That that's done now. It, it's over. How many of them I had to... I, I threw away. And how many small breads did I throw away? And now I need to buy? I, are you kidding me? Do I have this clean cleaner somewhere? Yeah, no? Uh, 
and the green toilet paper. Dude, I think stock taking is done. still need an auto when you buy something it will auto rack in the spot because this, these guys want to pick up both but they just glitch out instead oh man there's still a lot of items that didn't throw away I think that's all of them. Dude. What just happened? What just happened, dude? What? Bro, I just took it from there. This is still from the previous purchase, I think. You guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. What a mess. I'm so sorry about this. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.